Hello. You big daft cock. How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. It's actually been a while since I've uploaded. I've taken a little bit of a break from doing content. I've not taken a break in a very long time. I've had lots of other stuff going on. I've just been taking a break from everything. And I thought, why not do that in January, the worst month for YouTubers. But nevertheless, uploads are gonna start happening again starting from today plenty more forza content coming we're going to be doing some more need for speed stuff as well but the content's back on the go as of now before we get into the topic of today's video i have something to sort of announce i have finally bought myself one of my first sports cars as you all know my ultimate goal is a nissan gtr but at 20 years old i cannot physically insure a gtr because it's a twin turbo but hopefully as soon as i'm able to insure one hopefully i'll be getting one that may unfortunately be a few years, but let's see if any of you can guess what I now have in the comment section below. A few hints, it's an import from Japan and it's not a Supra. That's all you need really. It's not a GTR because I can't insure one. It's not a Supra, but it's something else quite cool for the time being. Let's see if any of you can guess in the comment section below. Anyway, onto the topic for today's video. As you all know, it is finally 2020. Don't need to tell you that. Now usually when we go into a new year that means we're getting a new Forza and in 2020 we are. We are potentially getting Forza Motorsport 8. We know all know that last year 2019 we didn't get a new Forza so in today's video I'm going to quickly touch on everything that I think is going to happen related to Forza in 2020. Are we going to get another expansion for Horizon 4? What kind of content are we going to get? When's Forza Motorsport 8 going to be playable and released? And so on and so on. And a couple of little clue things and update related things to do with a couple of next updates for Forza Horizon 4. Now the first thing I'd like to talk about is something that may be a little bit of a hint to what we're getting in Horizon 4 in the next couple of months. Just a little something. We all know that Toyota has been coming back to Horizon 4 for the past couple of months now. We've sort of got one Toyota every month. We've got the Supra in December and the AE86 in January. It seems as if we're going to be getting one, if not two, new Toyotas slash Lexus is every month from now on and now someone on Instagram DM'd me this and found this and it may be a hint towards what the next Toyota we're going to get is going to be. If you go to support.forzamotorsport.net you'll see all of the release patch notes from all of the previous updates. There's the Novembers, there's Decembers and then there's Januaries. Now if you look at them most of them have been posted by Nitro Glitter but the most recent one on January 13th was posted by Forza support team and if you have a look in their profile picture it's the new Toyota Supra. If you click on it and expand it you can clearly see their profile picture is the BM Toyota Supra Mark V, the brand new one. They could just be hinting miles in advance but this profile picture has been here for a month and we still haven't got the new Toyota in the game but we'll have to wait and see next week's Torben Tuesday. Maybe we're going to get the new Toyota Supra at some point in Forza. I'd say the chances are pretty likely because it's in the profile picture. They might be hinting at it, they might be not. We'll have to wait and see. So now, as we all know, Forza Motorsport 7 and Forza Horizon 4's lifespan have been a year longer than usual. Usually, it's Horizon one year, then a Motorsport, then a Horizon. So there's still not going to be a new Forza for another eight or nine months, even from today, nearly a year from now. And there's not going to be another Horizon for two years so that's a long long way away now personally i think the playground games are gonna have to do something in this you know time span to keep forza horizon 4 alive it's been out for just over a year now and if it's got two years left it's gonna have to do something the main biggest things we've got for horizon 4 are the eliminator and the two expansions all of which were released about six months apart Fortune Island was released on 13th of December, Lego Speed Champions was released on the 13th of June, which is about 5-6 months after, and then 5-6 months after that we got the Eliminator. Now if they're staying to a routine, and we also know um, a, quite a while back they hinted at having more than two expansions, then sometime around June, July, maybe a bit later because of Motorsport 8 being revealed, we may get, I won't, I'm not going to say a third expansion, but some kind of big addition to the game once again. Because if they've got two more years to fill, 
it makes sense to get at least another something that's going to be big, whether that's an expansion or a game mode like the Eliminator, we don't know. I did a video a while back talking about the third expansion sort of being confirmed, but I'll leave a screenshot on screen on why that is. They basically said that their intentions is to do more than two expansions this time, as in with Forza Horizon 4, probably because they've got to make it last a lot longer than Horizon 3. The way I like to think of things is this way, and this is quite important and quite eye-opening. Forza Horizon 4's lifespan is 36 months, from the day it's released to the day Forza Horizon 5 is going to be released. Three months into that lifespan, we got our first expansion, Fortune Island. Six months again into that lifespan, so nine months into it, we got the second expansion, LEGO Speed Champions. Around 14, 15 months into the game's lifespan, we got The Eliminator, another big kind of, not expansion, but big addition to the game. Now, that's 15 months into a 36-month lifespan. Is it logical to say that they're going to stop here? They're going to give us good, good updates every three to six months on Horizon 4, but then stop for the next two years? I don't think so. I think we must get at least something. We're not even halfway into the Horizon 4 lifespan and we've got two expansions and one big, big addition. We might not get anything. Honestly, to be honest, we might not get anything. They might just have to work on Horizon 5 too much, but I find it hard to believe if we don't get another expansion or big addition at some point because of how long the game's got left. Now, just a few little things about Forza Motorsport 8 as well. It makes sense for Forza Motorsport 8 to release later this year. It's sort of due to. The new Xbox is supposedly releasing this year as well, a bit before October slash November slash September, whenever Motorsport 8 will be released. So it's still logical to say that Motorsport 8 is releasing this year. So we are getting a new Forza this year. But when it comes to Horizon content, that's what we're kind of wondering if we're going to get anything else for because it's got a long time left and they said they'd give us more than one expansion, two expansions I mean, so we'll have to see. But give it a couple more months, maybe come April, May time, that's when things are going to start getting interesting. That's when we may get another big update for Horizon 4 and that is when Forza Motorsport 8 is going to start being heavily revealed. So we may have a few boring months from now, but a few months into it from now, it could get quite interesting with Motorsport 8 content, first Horizon 4 content, and as soon as the Motorsport 8 content starts, it's going to be non-stop until it's released. So, a few months of boringness, and then we're back into the new Forza stuff, more than we have been in a while. So yeah, my opinion for 2020 when it comes to Forza is, we're going to get a load of new Toyotas, still, they're not going to stop with that, a load of new updates, possibly an expansion, or some kind of big update for Horizon 4, we must get another one, surely. Motorsport 8 will be revealed, we're going to see gameplay of that potentially, or at least the trailer or something within the next six months. So yeah, it's going to be a big year, we're finally getting back into the swing of things. Forza Horizon 4 might go downhill a little bit, but Motorsport 8 certainly will go uphill, obviously. So anyway guys, let me know what you think about the year 2020 when it comes to Forza, what we will get, what do you think, what do you hope we get, blah 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 blah. And stay tuned for more videos to start coming again. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, so if you haven't, if you haven't already, for more Fox Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.